I understand everybody ain't going to agree with me. But check out why I feel this way. Check me out, man. Again, y'all all know. Damn, let me get this connection. Y'all all know that each and every one of you have sin currently. Like, now, right now. Especially all these scamming ass niggas in the community that love to be motherfucking hypocrites. Hey, Miss Beverly, how you doing, sister? Tonight, you got to call in. So don't forget. But all of these hypocritic niggas in the community pointing the finger at each other and all these whole ass niggas that stole from you and stole from each other. This connection. Damn. But we got a group of hypocritical I'm sorry about this bad connection, man. We driving through a, a pretty bad spot. But let me get on to it. All men, all men, the Bible says, and I'm telling y'all, all men have sin. That's in the present tense, H-A-T-H. And the Bible also says that all sin is unrighteousness. Gives you the understanding that since some of y'all was delivered from crack abuse that your crack abuse and your deliverance from that was no less or no greater than Hassan's issue truly some of y'all out there chewing oxycodons chewing a, a painful I mean pain painkillers some of y'all out there shooting up drugs every moment of the day and then you take care of your children in that condition, high off heroin. Some of you Negroes have been forgiven by God and your family and the community for your homosexuality. Yes, a lot of you niggas are fucking faggots. And some of you are unrepentant, in the closet, basket case niggas that still like to point the finger at other people that have spiritual and mental maladies. Hear me when I say this. The Bible says all have sin. H-A-T-H. And if you say you have no sin, you are a liar. And the truth is not in you. And you make a God alive. And you are of your father the devil. All of that shit is in the Bible. About you hypocritical lying niggas. You niggas that are robbing people. You niggas that are... So, so disrespectful to your your lady, your queen. Beat the shit out of her. Some of you niggas ain't walked in righteousness since you left the church. But you pick a point of contention with a brother that has been raped. Been molested. And you catch him at his weakest moment. When the whole community is fucking with him and making fun of him. I want to ask you, how many of you motherfuckers are willing to come out with your dirtiest closet secret? Huh? All you basket case, fat ass niggas out there. Are you hypocritical, pot calling the kettle black ass niggas? Let me get in your goddamn closet. I bet you every one of these motherfuckers that criticize the sign got skeletons a million in their fucking closet. You did? Skeletons in the back of the motherfucking closet under all of the damn dirty clothes. And these bitch niggas won't deal with their closet. But they'll come and sweep around your front door. <laughs> I said, nigga, if you're scamming, if you're lying, if you're beating and abusing your wife and children, if you're on dope, shooting up hair on, if you're a fucking faggot, what makes you different and more better than Hassan? What makes you more better than what he said? God agrees with me. You know how I know God agrees with me? Because he woke your faggot ass up this morning, you niggas that are sitting there, haven't been delivered for homosexuality, but you're talking about Hassan. God woke your bitch ass up today. And he 
didn't kill you. He didn't kill you when you were smoking rocks. God forgave you, gave you mercy and a time to repent and people to help you change. So what it happens when I dig in your goddamn closet? Fairly soul, peace and black power. What happens when I dig in your goddamn closet, Kevin Gills, and pull out the fact that that picture I showed everybody with all the wrinkles in your cheeks was you getting out of the county prison in L.A. on parole because you were on that fucking dope. I know that shit hurt, dog. And all of you niggas like you tend to be employed by the police. That's why I showed you guys this nigga's cell phone number traced back to the same block of the LAPD. But this bitch nigga here wants to make fun of a motherfucking victim. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to say something fucked up right now. And sometimes saying fucked up shit gets you in a lot of trouble. But sometimes y'all niggas need to understand why people do shit. Solomon said there's a time and a place for everything under the sun. And that do mean everything, goddammit. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that means that if there is a time and a place for everything, even the miscreant acts and the evil acts, then you niggas need to be more understanding and thoughtful of why there is a time for everything. See? When Israel Doctrine makes fun of a brother molested and laughs at that man's children and his wife and his rib, what's so bad about me coming and saying, yo, Izzy, your mama must be flipped over on her face in her fucking casket underground and the devil's probably pounding her in the asshole. Huh? You see how fucked up that is? Why don't y'all snip that and run that over and over? But you won't do that. Why? Because you niggas know how wretched the bitch nigga is I'm talking about. Excuse my language. Why not run my shit like you're running her sons? Mm -hmm. Because you're unrighteous pieces of shit, most of you niggas out there. You're hypocrites. And like I said, you niggas got a closet full of bones. And I might start pulling you motherfucking niggas skeletons out. Some of you niggas that are so bold to talk so matter-of-factly about some shit that you've never experienced. How many times you motherfuckers been raped? I ain't never been raped. I don't know how that shit feel. And I know for a fact that if I was raped and you niggas kept playing with me like you do, Hassan, I'd probably kill some of you motherfuckers. Shit. That's the truth. So how now is it understandable for you all to judge that man after he's been raped, made fun of, lied on, in the world wide web? What you expect him to say? I just said Israel Doctrine's mama is flipped over in the motherfucking grave with the devil bouncing on her. Face down, ass up, that's the way we like to fuck. I know, I know, that's fucked up. But I want y'all to run that shit around the community like you're doing Hassan. The pot calling the fucking kettle black. Nigga, all of us are sinners. Even some of you dead niggas died in your sin. Some of your mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. Some of you niggas come testify how your mammies left you. But you talk about Hassan to that degree. Not to the degree that you're saying, yo, man, like I said, I would have never said that shit. But I certainly understand. The whole fucking community making fun of you. And you out here trying to help children. Look at this. Somebody calling me right now. <laughs> and the brother don't, don't think I'm mad at you. Brother's calling. I'll hit you back. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the whole fucking community. I'm mad at you. I'll hit you back when I get out of my gig. But I'm about to close this up. 
If you niggas are not hypocrites, tell me what the fuck you are. If you niggas are not demons, you will do until the real devil show his motherfucking stinking ass self to the to the community. If you niggas aren't demons, huh, tell me what the fuck is. The white man who we call the devil, he don't do this to black men. They come make fun of you getting raped. And then you're mad because the brothers jump out the fucking window on you and say some shit to you that you can't forget. See, where I come from, niggas say, get it how you live, you heard me? That's the bed you made. By making fun of a rape victim, bitch, you got some shit said to you that you can't sleep off. Now, what's the scales? Both are unrighteousness. The Bible says all unrighteousness is sin. The word sin is Greek. It means to miss the mark. Uh-huh. It don't mean the shit that your pastor that told you. Wake the fuck up. Half of you religious niggas even judge people unfairly. Like I said, most of you bitch niggas are addicted to Schedule 3 narcotics. How many of you niggas on Percocets out there? Huh? Some of you niggas sticking Percocets in your asshole today. It's called plugging. I'm not being nasty. But y'all talk about Hassan. Huh? Some of you niggas laying up in the bed with homosexuals with your wife. But you dog a person out with no mercy. That's fucked up. I'm going to close it with this one. And I'm coming back later on. So y'all just get ready. Because since there's fireworks in the community, and since everybody being fucking hypocrites, let's really, let's really bring them out. Young Pharaoh, you owe us $10,000, bitch. You asked the people for ten grand to build a daycare, and you're on parole, motherfucker. You're a felon. Fuck you talking about. We're going to help everybody this evening. We're going to heal y'all from stupidity and from hypocrisy. Now, again... In closing, I would have never said what Hassan said, but I goddamn sure understand why he said that. If you have been raped and there's 50 fucking people with hundreds of videos on the internet laughing at you and you're trying to help somebody, what would you do? I said, some of you niggas would be dead if that was me. She used to play hide and seek in your backyard. Now, she's getting married in it. That's hypothetical. If I got raped, and you motherfuckers are doing what you're doing. What do you guys think would happen? What you think Hassan was going to say? Oh, don't worry about it. Shut your motherfucking ass up. And that man got children looking at you bitch niggas on the internet making fun of them every day. You niggas going to stop. And one day, you're probably going to be forced to stop. You're probably going to be forced to fucking stop. How? Your heart. Now, I got to go. So, y'all come back now, you hear?